Hi class, in this video here, what we wanna do is we wanna continue talking about sets. So continue talking about sets in the last lecture. So in the last lecture, we learned kind of like basics of sets. All right, some terminology, you know, set builder notation, roster method, is uh, stuff like that. So in this lecture here, uh, what we wanna do is learn two topics. We want to first talk about this concept of subsets, and then we're going to do going to lead into what it's called an intro to what are called Venn diagrams. And Venn diagrams are a lot of fun. And what we'll do is we'll um, uh, we're going to we're going to use Venn diagrams a lot, a lot when we get into um, survey problems. Okay, but so let's let's start off with subsets first. Okay, what it, what is a subset? A set A is what's called a subset, subset of set B, and it's expressed as this. A, and whenever you see this, it looks kind of like a, an elongated C with an, I don't know, with a bar under it. This right here is, is the notation for a subset. If every element of A is also in set B, okay? So what that would be would might be something like this. A is equal to the numbers two, three, four, and B is equal to the numbers uh, one, two, three, four, five. Do you notice? Do you notice how um, every element in A is also in B, right? Like B has extra stuff in it, right? Yeah, it has one and five, but but all the elements of A are in B. So then, what we would say here is A is a subset of B. There's a, there's something also called a, a a proper subset. So set A is a proper subset of B which is expressed as A pro is a proper subset of B. So, so whenever you see like this elongated C without the bar under it, is if set A is a subset of set B and sets A and B are not equal. Okay, so they're not the same thing. So like actually what's going on here, do you notice how like this has three elements in it? This one is five. A is actually a proper subset of B. Okay, this notation here a and then it, it looks like subset with a with a vertical with a with a slash through it not a vertical line with a slash through it um this means that a is not not a subset of b all right a is not a subset of b if there's at least one element of set a that is not an element of set b okay so it might be something like this okay let's say a is equal to uh two, three, four, seven, and set B is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Do you notice how like set A here, set A has seven and B doesn't, so we would say A is not a subset of B. That's what that notation means. All right, let's do some other examples just so you can kind of see this here. All right, so let's write um, if it's a subset or not a subset, okay, uh, in the blank to form a true statement. Okay, so do you notice uh, A is equal to one, three, five, seven, and B is equal to one, three, five, seven, nine, and 11? Do you notice how A, A here is, it's actually a proper subset. So I'm gonna put or like this. It's actually a proper subset of B. Let's try this one. This is interesting. Set A is a set of all elements X such that X is a letter of the word uh, P proof, P-R-O-O-F. So A is A is actually the set of the, the, the letters P-R-O-F. You don't actually write O twice. And B, is the set of all of all elements y such that y is a letter of roof so it's r o f a here do you notice how a has more elements than b here so a a is actually not a subset of b but what's it's interesting if you were to flip it around you could actually say that b is a proper subset of a cuz all the elements of b are in a where all the elements of a are not in b Quite interesting there when you flip it that, that you actually get the, the subsets here. 
All right, let's now talk um, briefly, uh, you know, with some cool examples here about this um, concept of uh, universal sets and Venn diagrams. So the universal set is a general set that contains all elements under discussion. So what you're going to notice is um, uh, when we go forward in this, especially when we get to set operations, I'm going to define this thing called the universal set. And the universal set is going to be given with this letter U. All right, it's all the elements that you're under uh, looking to investigate here. So this mathematician named John Venn created what are called Venn diagrams to show the visual relationship uh, among sets. Okay, so the universal set is represented by a rectangle. Okay, so you're going to draw a rectangle. And then everything inside, anything inside the rectangle is the universal set. And then subsets within the universal set are depicted by circles or sometimes ovals or other shapes. So you're going to draw this rectangle for these Venn diagrams. And, and circles within it are going to represent different sets. Like here's set A. You can see this one has only one circle and you can have more than one circle. Here's set B. And the universal set is outside of it or the universal set is everything everything all right let's do um, just so you can kind of see some examples here okay um, of, of determining sets from from Venn diagrams here so what I'm going to do on this next slide here is I'm going to draw a Venn diagram with some with some ovals in it and and some numbers and then we'll determine you know that what the universal set is and what all those uh, sets are okay so here be an example Suppose you have this rectangle here. And it represents the universal set. So you have one set in here, we'll call this set A, and it contains the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Set B, another circle here, you're going to see within inside the circle is going to be the numbers 5, 6. And then outside of it, you're going to see the numbers 7, 8, and nine, like this. Actually, a lot of times, though, just so you can see the difference, they might even write it like this. All right, so let's start with the universal set, okay? You now, the universal set is everything, all the numbers. Okay, so, so what are the elements inside the rectangle? Well, it looks like it's the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the universal set is everything. Now look, everything inside this circle here, that's everything that belongs to set A. So it looks like set A is one, two, three, and four. And set B here, well, look, well, what's inside set B here? Well, what's inside set B here are the numbers five and six. So that, that's how when you're given, like you're given a Venn diagram, um, you can determine, you know, what, well, what's in the universal set, that's everything. And then what's inside the circles themselves, those are the elements of that set A and then set B there. All right. So representing two sets in a Venn diagram, how you can do it. So what I just did in the previous example are what called were disjoint sets, okay? These are two sets that have no elements in common. So the, 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 the circles do not overlap. There's, there's no overlap, okay? So they have no common elements. Okay, no overlap. That means they're disjoint sets. Now proper sets, or proper subsets, excuse me, um, you know, this is all elements of set A are in cell elements of set B. Notice how like in, in this case here, A is inside of B here. The, the A circle is inside of B. So that means set B includes everything that's in set A. Okay. 
So like if the universal, if A is one, two, three, and then outside of A, but inside B is four, and the universal set here, and outside of both of these is five, the universal set would be the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. Set A, you can see, is just the numbers one, two, three. But then set B, because A is inside of B, it would include one, two, three, and four. Like that. All right, let's 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 try this, okay? Um, so how you represent equal sets? So if A is the same thing as B, if A is equal to B, that is that A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A. You know, you, when you when you draw them, you would just draw one a single circle here, doo -doo, and then you would just call it both A as B. Now, what's really fun? What's what's really 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 fun is um, when sets have some common elements, when there's some overlaps. So if set A and set B have at least one element in common, all right, at least one, then the circles representing the sets must overlap. Like for example, if you see something like this. Okay, notice how there's all these different regions of the circles overlapping, and um, you know, how, how, how might we, we, we represent these sets? So let's let the universal set, okay, well, that's all the elements. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. Well, what's in set A? Well, look, this is set A, just this circle here. So what's everything inside the circle of set A? Well, even though it overlaps with B, that, that element three is in both of them. So set A is the elements one, two, three, so that it includes the common element. And then what's set B? Well, what's inside the circle B? Well, that includes that common element. So it's three, four, and five. All right. Let's do, let's do another example, a um, uh, little bit more in depth. And let's get away from numbers for, for a second. And let's talk about, uh, let's do a, an example with uh, letters of the alphabet here. Okay, so we got this Venn diagram, okay? So it looks like here's set A, here's the common region between set A and B, here's set B, and then there's some elements outside of it. All right, so let's do the following. What is the universal set? Well, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So it's the set of the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. All right, what are the elements just in set B? So what is set B? Well, set B is everything in the circle B, including that overlap region. So it's the letters D and E. All right, let's find this. The set of elements in set A, but not in B. Okay, so notice these are all the elements in A, A, B, C, D. But do you notice how D is also in B? D is also in B. So the elements in A but that, that are not also in B are just A, B, C. Now let's try this one. The set of elements in the universal set that are not in B. Well, well, what elements are in B? So it's D and E. So it's everything that's not in B here. So that would be A, B, C, F, and G. All right, let's try this. The set of elements that are in both, and they need, it needs to be in both set A and B. Well, A, B, and C are in set A, but not in B. E is in B, but not in A. Well, look, this element D, this D, this letter D is in both set A and B. So there you go. Got to be very careful how, how it's how it's written and how you read it. 
All right, class, we're going we're gonna to follow up this lecture next with um, a lecture talking about now some type of operations on sets.